Welcome to Theory of Pets. I'm a passionate pet owner with a drive to help others like me uncover the truth about the pet industry and what goes on behind the scenes. Not everyone lives in a second story area, but as far as physical exercise, do you think that's also important? I knew you said it is important, not as much as, or well, no, you said mental stimulation will tire them out more, but do you still think that they should also get some form of physical and like, what would that look like if that is at all possible during those snow days? Yeah, for sure. So if we're talking, going back to, um, let's say we have an Italian greyhound that lives in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Um, that dog is not built like it was born to get rid of heat. You Mm -hmm. know, it has, um, one thing that we can look at for, and, and just kind of do a quick gauge of how equipped is my dog for cold weather is look at their surface area to body mass ratio, mm-hmm. you know? And so if we have a little tiny dog with not a whole lot to them, they're not going to be very well set, set for cold weather. But if you look at a big Husky, you know, we've got a big bulky dog with a decent surface area. But if you look at the ratio together, they're very different. So for the little guy, we're going to have to do a little bit more in preparation. So um, I'm a huge fan of booties, um, both for cold and hot weather. Um, There are specific boots that are a little bit more insulated to keep their paws protected. Um, Dogs have some really cool mechanisms in their feet to to help them. Um, We have some really large arteries that kind of wind in with the veins. So there's constantly warm blood going through their feet and then the cool blood is going straight back to be warmed up. So um, we're, they're way better equipped than people, um, but we still want to protect it. You know, and the other reason we want to use booties is ice can cut their paws pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, even from physical trauma, um, you know, for these guys, making sure where we have one extra layer of a sweater, you know, there's, you can go crazy, go shopping, uh, grab a sweater, usually something that covers, if you don't have a male dog that covers their belly, uh, is going to give you a little bit more bang for your buck and keep them a little bit warmer than just, you know, the ones that strap over the top of them. So what it sounds like you're saying is very rarely will you be in a scenario where, the weather's going to be so cold and so extreme that your dog can't go outside. They yeah. still can, but you need to prepare, hence the booties, hence the the funny clothing. Mm-hmm. Um, but also it does insulate them. So it's not, you also answered, while answering that question, you also answered another question is, you know, those, those silly uh, dog outfits. <laughs> there is... Uh, uh, a method to the madness it's not this i mean it, we to be honest it is anthropomorphizing a dog but it also serves the other purpose of they are warm <laughs> yes so yes. you're saying so you're saying they should they if they're going to go out and get some physical activity the booties the the clothing all that good stuff they should be wearing uh if it's uh, if it's below what temperature if you have um, if you have a short coated dog or a really lean dog that's really not built for the cold, I'd say anything under freezing. I mean, it's certainly not going to hurt if you want to put mm-hmm. you know a sweet Eddie Bauer jacket on your dog when it's fifty <laughs> degrees. You know, if at any point they start panting, I would peel start peeling stuff off. But mm-hmm. if it's below freezing, if there's any ice, definitely the booties will go a really long way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and and just like us, like going snowboarding, right? Like you you show up and you have all the layers, and then you get one run in, and you're like, oh my god, I'm so hot. You know, and you, yeah, and yeah. you can just and start the sun's out, away. and now now it's, right, you're right, baked in your puffy jacket. Right. So yeah. you know, if you take your dog out. Um, and he's, you know, doing victory laps in the snow and he starts panting, you can probably peel the jacket off. Mm -hmm. But keep the booties on. Also, you said the booties not only protect it from ice, but I think what you also meant to say is the the salt, if in case people or people live in areas where the road is salted. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, um, and in older dogs, you know, that maybe don't have the best mobility. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of arthritis. Um, if there's any ice or anything like that, if the traction's not great, yeah. you know, it can help, 
it can help those those pets too. 